it. We are in Charlotte. Like, I'm like, is this normal? But apparently it is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Never wanted to talk about it on here because I was honestly like so conscious about it. I don't know, I'm just trying to make excuses on I'm gonna put that in there. <laughs> it was like 74% DNA mat. Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wesley Ann and I would love for you to stick around, subscribe. Today we are in Charlotte. I'm actually in Fort Mill right now. Um, I just did some work um, on my laptop, whatever, because I do work a full-time remote job so I can really work from wherever and I just worked in a coffee shop like all morning. It's 2.30 now and I actually came up here for two appointments. I have one at Skin Farm today at three and then I have another tomorrow. Um, it's a hair appointment tomorrow so I'm excited up here for all the girly self-care things. And I'm also gonna see a few of my friends which I'm so excited about. Um, staying with one of my really good friends that I used to actually work with when we lived up here in Charlotte and then I'm hoping to see Bianca tomorrow as well if we can fit it in. So fun little trip to Charlotte. I am about to head out though and head to skin farm if you've never heard me talk about skin farm what are you doing you know i love them i've been going to them for almost a year now um and i just love them they do my disport um and then they also do my filler and then today i'm actually going to do more like skincare type things so i think we I don't know exactly what we're gonna do today. Missy is like my injector and she is like queen. Honestly, the whole staff at Skin Farm is amazing. Like if you have never been, look and see if there's one in your area and go check them out. They have so many locations everywhere so you guys could definitely find one near you and go see them and let them know that I sent you. Um, but they are really, really great. Like I said, I get my injections and stuff with them but today I'm doing more skincare type stuff. I have no idea what we're gonna do quite yet but I'm gonna try and take you guys in there too so you can see like the process and everything like that. So it'll be really, really fun and excited to take you guys along for it. I just got out of Skin Farm and my face looks crazy. Like, I'm like, is this normal? But apparently it is. And I ended up getting the BBL light treatment. I filmed a whole TikTok and Instagram reel on it. So you guys, I'll probably insert that before this clip even. So you can see what I got done. My face is still numb because they have to numb your face um, to do the other thing we did, which was a gold infusion, which is basically where they take your blood plasma. It's like your PPR, I think is the correct term. Um, and they like spin it and then they inject like they don't inject it but they like have this little stamping tool and they do it all across your face and it's supposed to give you this like insane glow so i'm really excited for the results i just feel like my face looks so crazy right now but supposedly it's gonna go down i'll show you guys keep you updated in this vlog of what my skin is looking like um and they do it like all down your neck too so my neck is red but that being said i don't know if we're gonna go out to eat tonight because i look like a crazy person so it might be a girls night in for me and my friend Francis um, I'm literally about to pop over to her house now um, but like I said if you go to skin farm if you're in Charlotte go see my girl Missy she's the best they also restocked me on my um, glow factor which is like their vitamin C serum it's really 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 good so they restocked that for me and yeah that is what's happening but i'm about to head to my friend's house so excited to see her and just have a little girls night it'll be really fun so
happy. I'm back in Columbia. I left Charlotte last night and I figured I would show you guys my skin after I got that treatment. I will say the, I haven't noticed a lot of glowiness yet. I've noticed a little bit. I was pretty glowy yesterday, but um, I'm still waiting for the glowiness to come through. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a few days, so I'm just waiting on that. But I will say my skin tone is much more even already. I can already tell. And these like little sunspots that I have are supposed to like flake off in the next few days. So I'm excited to kind of get rid of those. And then just this like hyperpigmentation and stuff that I have around and redness that I have around my nose area. I've always been super self-conscious about. So I'm so glad that we could do that BBL treatment and just like kind of cancel out the redness and I'm gonna go back I think in like a month or so and do more because I recommend to do like two to three to see like optimal results so I am really happy though so far with how my skin is looking also as you can tell I did not get my hair done my hair girl canceled on me which I was really sad about because I desperately need my hair done like it has been too long I don't think I've gotten my hair done since June and I don't get anything crazy done to it I just get like a gloss and I get it cut but it desperately needs to be cut it's gotten so long my ends are getting kind of dead and it just needs to be like toned with the gloss a little bit on the ends because the ends are so light from where my hair is going out like this is totally my natural hair like probably down to like here i would say and then the rest of this is like still hair that like we lightened when i was doing balayage so the gloss really helps kind of cancel out any of the red tones that are left from that so i was really sad really disappointed that that happened especially because i drove all the way up to charlotte but it's okay everything happens for a reason and i'm just gonna find someone down here to do my hair in columbia it makes more sense anyway because i live down here now and it's a lot more convenient like if my hair girl down here had canceled on me and wanted to reschedule for another day no big deal but like my hair girl in charlotte canceling and then wanting to schedule for another day like i can't just make another day trip up to charlotte like that um i'm already going up once a month for my treatments and the reason i went up this time was to see one of my good friends because like one of the only times we've been able to like find common ground on time to spend together and then i had my skin farm appointment and then i was going to do my hair appointment the next day and it's gonna be perfect like knock a bunch of things out at once because i can't just casually go up to charlotte all the time so yeah i was really disappointed about that but i am gonna hopefully find someone down here in columbia that can do my hair and i need to find someone asap because like i said i was totally expecting to have my hair done by now and it's not done so i hopefully will find someone down here i will keep you guys posted hopefully i can make an appointment soon but speaking of hair i have a ton of stuff to unbox packages that i got while i was gone to show you guys some of it sent to me some of it i bought um but as far as the hair goes something i bought is this briochio destined for destiny um mega strength caffeine biotin peptide destiny serum long name but this I totally fell for this on a TikTok ad and I was like, I need that because I've noticed that my hair is thinning. I mean, I've been noticing it for a while. I don't really talk about it. I don't think I've talked about it on here, but my hair just around like the front pieces is just like right there. It's really thin and just like I need help in the hair growth department. I feel like it's obviously one from getting older you just naturally start losing your hair too i'm on a treatment that a potential side effect is hair loss and so i think it could be from that too i don't know but um and even my part just seems a little bit more sparse than it used to be so i saw this and i am i can't i'm blanking on the girl's name now she's the one that does the podcast um fun on weekdays why am i blanking on her name it's like on the tip of my tongue anyway you pro guys probably know who i'm talking about she did the tiktok ad and she showed like her transformation for her hair like along and along using this and it just totally convinced me i don't know if she was using other stuff too besides this i'm hoping it was just this because this was not cheap i think it was like 65 bucks but she had a code so i think it was like 50 something i don't know i'll leave it linked down below for you guys though if you want to give it a try for yourself obviously i'm not recommending it yet because i haven't tried it but I just thought the TikTok ad was super convincing and I felt like it was worth a shot. I'll honestly probably put this in my hair when I get done filming this clip because I am not planning on leaving the house anytime today. I'm going to wash my hair tonight and I would love to have this like sitting in my hair for the rest of the afternoon. So yeah, it just says to use daily. It doesn't say like how many times daily, it just says use it daily. So every day basically. So I'm excited to see if I have results from that. I'll let you guys know, keep you updated. <laughs> I 
He gets so sad when I'm giving anyone else attention, including the camera. <laughs> okay, next thing I got, I ordered, and it's kind of sad because I've been buying from Gymshark for a long time. And I've been buying the Whitney Simmons Gymshark collections. I think I bought from her past three. I think this is her fifth one. I don't think I bought from the first two, but her last three I've purchased from. And I really, really love her sets. And so I got another one. This is her last collection with them, which makes me sad. Because I really, really like the collections that she comes out with. I feel like they're really unique and flattering. So I got this color. And I'm really hoping I like this color on me. Um, I feel like I'm thinking of it more so for... Um, summertime because like right now it's kind of <laughs> washing me out it's just this short sleeve top which obviously i would wear like a sports bra under it but how stinking cute i don't have any um short sleeve workout tops like this like i have like t-shirts but i don't have like any like stretchy workout t-shirt style tops like this so i thought that would be so fun and then i got the matching leggings and these have pockets too which is amazing not that I ever even use pockets on leggings for anything, but I just think they're cute. Um, and then, yeah, this is what the leggings look like. The back just says Winnie Simmons, and then it has the little butt, butt scrunch, which it looks really obvious right now, but when you're wearing these, you can't even tell. And I like that because sometimes I don't like how you can see a butt scrunch on like a legging. I feel like it's kind of tacky, so I love how she designed these to not show that, but it's still like flattering. So yeah, that's the little set. I'll leave it linked down below if she has any more in stock. She had other colors too, but I don't have any sets in this color. I feel like I'm, I am always go for like purples and blues and greens. Or I get like neutral sets. Like I don't have any like warm tone, pinky, fun colors. And I feel like this would be such a pretty color for going into spring. So, And then lastly, I have a huge haul from Windsor. All these pieces are like Valentine's related, which I'm so excited to do some photos for them in these pieces you guys know i work with windsor over on tiktok instagram all the things and i picked out the cutest things from them like oh my gosh i'm obsessed so first off can we talk about this this is like a little pajama romper oh my gosh i'm obsessed like how freaking cute is this i just love this i love this sweater i can't wait to try it on because i'm interested to see kind of how it lays like on but um this pink sweater it has like a like detail in the front right here crisscross situation and i just love this it's a ribbed sweater it opens obviously i don't know i just thought this would be so fun with like just a pair of jeans and some booties and then i got this top which is kind of along the same lines obviously this is not like valentine's Day. it's black but i just thought it was super pretty it's a ribbed material it kind of reminds me of those like amazon sets that were viral for a while um and it has like the little tie in the front and i don't know i just thought this would be such a cute little date night top or just like a going out top and this top i'm obsessed with i love the color i thought this would be so cute for um honestly like carolina games when it's really hot because it's a gamecock color but also very valentine's day -y. it's like a garnet like a it's like a wine garnet color i don't know i just thought it was so pretty and again it just has like the ties in the front and i just thought it'd be so fun to style so i got that and then i also picked up these pants because i used to have a pair of silk pants like this it was from princess polly super cute and it came with a set and i sold them i got rid of them i don't know why i did that but they were honestly more of a pink tone this is like a true like champagne satin pant and i think they're gonna be a lot cuter honestly so i got these because i just think having a pant like this is so necessary in your closet because you want a pant that's going to be able to like because i feel like i'm constantly wearing jeans i don't have any like cute dressy pants so i thought these would be perfect then i got this which i'm literally obsessed with this it's honestly even more pretty in person compared to what i saw on the website um but it's just this bodysuit and look at the details y'all this is like a chiffon like see-through situation mesh um bodice part of the bodysuit but then the detailing on it is like velvet applique i don't know i just thought it was just so feminine and sexy and pretty i just love this you could dress it up you could dress it with just jeans i don't know i just thought it was so so pretty so 
love that and then i also picked up a purse from them which i thought was so cute they have really cute accessories too so if you're ever wanting to get your hands on some good accessories this one is just i thought this would just be a perfect purse for springtime and it comes with like just a strap like this so you can wear it obviously like that but then it also comes with a longer strap which i'll probably use and i just thought it was like the perfect size I don't have any white purses like this so i was excited to get this and then lastly i picked out this pair of black flare leggings which i honestly thought was going to be like in my head i thought i could start with a ton of these pieces but i had it in mind for this top but it's just a pair of flare leg or er, leggings did i say leggings i meant pants jeans black flare jeans and i love a good flare i just think it's so flattering and i have just like normal denim like blue jean denim flares i have two different pairs and i wear them a lot so i thought that it would be nice to have a black pair so i got this black pair and i'm excited because they feel like really good quality so yeah that's my little windsor haul as always i will have everything i mentioned linked down below so you guys can check it out i'm so excited for the set too why is he looking at me like that y'all <laughs> what are you doing I officially think I have the weirdest dog in the world. Anyway, anyway, not much happening today. Let me give you guys a tattoo update. Not that you even care, but um, it's my first tattoo, so I feel like I care. And it's been interesting to see it like heal, but I've been washing it, lotioning it constantly. So hopefully, it, so hopefully it's gonna heal really nicely. And everyone said that I was gonna get addicted to tattoos, and I don't know if I'm gonna get addicted yet. I feel like I definitely have a, like a few more tiny ones that I would love to get one day. I just don't know exactly where I want to get them or like exactly what I want them to look like yet. So until I know that, I'm not going to like just go sporadically get one. At least I don't plan on it. <laughs> All right, I'm about to put this oil on my hair. And it says to just focus it and massage it into your scalp on like the areas that you're for like that you're concerned about. It just says to do like one or what does it say? One, two drops to the scalp and it's not supposed to leave your hair feeling greasy but i don't know about that <laughs> feels a little greasy i'm gonna let it sit on my hair like all day until i shower tonight so i think that'll be good for it like see like look at these little Gaps. I feel like everybody struggles with this, so I never wanted to talk about it on here because I was honestly like self-conscious about it because I've just always had really good thick hair. Now that this is happening, it's like really bothering me, but I'm hoping that this treatment will seriously help. It's mostly just around like this part of my head. I feel like there's not really other areas that I notice any sparseness or issues like a little bit kind of on the crown of my head so I'm probably gonna put some there too. The thing about this though is I'm nervous that it's not going to work <laughs> one but two like this is such a tiny bottle like look at what I how much I used already with that one application like this is I feel like is this gonna last like how long is this gonna last you know but you guys know, I'll keep you updated. Hello, you guys. Good morning. As you saw, I went and took an orange theory class this morning at 7.30, which I have not taken a 7.30 a.m. workout class in a very long time. Like, I don't think I've honestly taken one since I've lived here in Columbia. But it was, like, my go-to, like, class time when we were up in Charlotte. Um, because it was just like perfect to get my workout in in the morning It just started my day off on the right foot and I miss that feeling like I Feel so energized like ready to conquer the day now like I'm so happy I did that In the midst of it honestly thought I was gonna throw up but <laughs> I also haven't worked out in over a week because I've been so Busy which I know is not like much of an excuse but I've been busy and out of town and all the things. And so I just haven't been able to get to the gym, which I hate that. I hate making excuses like that. But it is what it is. It's life. Life gets busy and you have to prioritize certain things. Anyway, I'm happy that I went and did that workout this morning. 
like I said, it just started my day off on the right foot. So I'm really hoping I can get back in the habit of doing that 7.30 class. It was like perfect timing for me to get home for my meetings that I have in the morning for work. So, so anyway, glad I got that workout over with. I also went and picked up Starbucks. I'm like pretty much done with it now. But of course, the pistachio cream cold brew. You guys know I'm obsessed, like can't stop getting it. You know I try and limit dairy as much as possible. So I really hate that this has dairy in it. Like if this is the only dairy I'm having, like I think it's okay. I don't know. I'm just trying to make excuses honestly because I just like it so much. Anyway, so I got a coffee and then for breakfast, I think I'm gonna do, oh my God, I almost spilled the rest of that. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do a, do a smoothie. I haven't had a smoothie in a little while and we have one banana left. So I thought, why not make a smoothie? Today we are just having ourselves a little Saturday. I've just been literally doing so much cleaning this morning. And my hair literally looks crazy. I slept in this braid last night and it looks insane. Um, and I want to show you guys my skin because I was looking at it this morning. Do you hear that? Bentley's eating in the background. I'm telling you, every time I start recording, he starts to eat his food. I don't get it. But anyway, but I figured I would give you guys a skin update. My skin is looking way more even than it ever has like i don't know if you can tell i feel very vulnerable getting this close to the camera but definitely some sunspots have fallen off already which is crazy and the redness has gone down a lot like i used to, i feel like i normally have a lot more redness here and here just like naturally um but my like overall skin tone is already looking so much better so if this isn't your sign to go get a BBL treatment at Skin Farm, I don't know what is. And my skin is starting to get kind of glowy as well, which it does take a little while for the glow infusion to like work its magic. Um, I think it's like a week or so because my skin was honestly super dull like a day or two after I got it done. And I was like, uh, I don't think this is working, but it takes time. So and it's different for everyone. Sometimes people start glowing within two days. Some people it takes a week. Um, it's kind of like how your body responds to it. Anyway, uh, hi buddy. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've told you guys that we did, me boy. Um, I told you guys that we did a DNA test on him, I think in a recent vlog, um, but we got the results back. It was actually like a week ago that we got them back. I never even told you guys. Uh, but he is 50% American Staffordshire Terrier. He's 20% Boston Terrier, which I thought was funny. He's got 10% Beagle. Um, another 10% of like American, no, Australian Shepherd. And then 20% Super Mutt, which is hilarious. It's like, I think the Super Mutt is like a lab boxer and some other breed mixed together. Um, so that is officially what Bentley's breed is. The craziest part was they ended up 
um i think you can choose on M like we use the embark um dna kit and you can choose to like publicly share their dna and it ended up um connecting us with a match that was like 74 percent dna match and i messaged the owner they're from charlotte or live in charlotte and come to find out it's his brother and it was so crazy she got him from a rescue so she kind of knew a little bit more about his story and apparently he was found in a box on a football field she didn't know where exactly but um on a football field with his sister in a box and i guess whoever found the box like took him to this rescue and i'm assuming it was one of the fields near like the wingate football field i wouldn't think it'd be the actual wingate football field maybe the practice field or something because my apartment that i was living in at the time that i found bentley was super close to the football field and so i'm thinking that he must have like been in that box and like escaped the box and ran to found, find me you knew you had to get to your mama huh <laughs> so anyway it was really cool to like hear more about his story and like find his siblings and like they're so connected with the sister too so like we're gonna hopefully all meet up in charlotte one day and do like a big play date situation but i think it'd be so fun to meet his little family and i just never thought that that could happen so if you have a rescue and you haven't done a dna test even if you're like oh it's stupid it might not even be accurate like the best thing that could come from it is that you end up finding more finding out more about their story and like their family and stuff do you want to get down buddy okay um anyway so i don't know i just thought it was like the coolest thing so if you have not done a dna test on your dog you should do it that's your sign we just got back from the grocery store i went to publix this time um and picked up some stuff for dinner tonight so we're gonna do pasta it's the gluten-free dairy-free pasta that i I think I've shown on here before um, and so you just need gluten-free pasta I like to get the pasta that has the best like or the least amount of ingredients so this one's just brown rice and water so always go for the gluten-free pasta that's got the cleanest ingredients because I feel like they can sneak a lot of stuff in here like gums and things that like aren't good for you so that and then this um, tomato paste and walnuts and then I just throw in some minced garlic as well seasonings olive oil and that's literally all you need for the sauce and then we got ground beef um, for that as well and some bacon for breakfast this week i also got these crunchy chickpeas i like the sea salt kind but zach doesn't like sea salt so got the korean barbecue i want to try these actually will you try it, them and tell me if they're good i don't want all those just like hmm yeah i don't like that I like sea salt butter. Then got some coconut yogurt. This is my favorite coconut yogurt. It's from the So Delicious brand. It's dairy free, unsweetened, really, really good for breakfast. Then got some strawberries to top that with. I normally will put almond butter, granola, all that stuff for breakfast. And then eggs, avocados for avocado toast. I got these Nature's Bakery fig bars. They're really, really good. I like to have these for just like a midday snack. And then some ham for lunches. And I got this Boom Chicka Pop kettle corn. I normally only get the one that's like already pre-bagged, already cooked. This is like bags that you pop in the microwave. So I thought it'd be fun to try for a snack. And then bananas. And then Zach got this LaCroix coconut water for himself because... I guess he likes look away. And lastly, gluten-free Vans waffles. These are the best waffles that I've ever had, like including waffles that aren't gluten-free. So I really like to have these in the mornings with like almond butter, honey, and like I normally put like banana, strawberries, whatever fruit we have on top. Super, super good. Bags. Normally the one from Trader Joe's doesn't fill it up that much. 
minutes. I'm about to spend the rest of the afternoon working, editing, getting content stuff done. So I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are new here, definitely subscribe. And yeah, I love you all so much. And I will see you in my next video.